But I want to bring up another talented individual right now, my man Quentin Henry, because he's got a big fight coming up this weekend. Let's bring my man up right now. Quentin. What up, what up? Yo, what is this, a road trip segment today? I got Paulie in the car, I got yeah, you in yeah, the I car. That was Everybody's weird. on the road, bro. Right. Yeah, we're busy people, busy folks. Busy, busy folks getting ready. Well, you're getting ready for a big fight. He's doing interviews right. now. That's so, right. bro, I want to talk to you, man. It's been a little bit. Uh, you had, uh, you know, your last fight was impressive. You made, you know, making statements, bro. But, you know, you you got this fight. Is this, is this a fight that you want to have with Sawyer DP? Because I saw some interviews and you seemed a little frustrated with, uh, you know, with your current situation. So I wanted to, I wanted to get it from you. I don't want to get it from anybody else. Um, no, not particularly. Um, I think, uh, Lorenzo or whoever else made sense had prior commitments or something. I think they were banking on something going through in Louisiana and it didn't. So this kind of came up last minute. So there was kind of a little bit of, you know, frustration with that. Um, but it was either this or I was going to have to wait for a little while. And, uh, so, um, that's what they came up with. Um, so you know, I don't want to wait. Really, I need to. I need to be fighting whenever I can. Um, if I'm going to get to a belt, I'm going to get there one step at a time, no matter how many steps it is. So uh, you know, I'm hoping to go out there. This guy's tough. Um, you know, he was. Uh, I think he was. He was good at 185. He's two and one. He put up a, a good fight against Uli, and uh, the one that he lost. Um, I like the guy. He seems pretty cool. On, on, you know, from what I've known of him, I kind of liked him, you know, from before because I'd watch, you know, I watched the events and stuff. Uh, didn't expect to be fighting. Don't know where that came from, but uh, here we are, you know. And uh, so I just, you know, I, I do as I'm told. I don't get to, to make the decisions. I was trying to fight Hector Lombard. And then he signed with Eagle FC, and then I was like, all right, well, I want to fight Lorenzo. You know, like, he called me out, you know, let's go ahead and do this. Hector's gone, but then Hector wasn't gone. And I don't know if he is gone or not gone, and I don't know what's going on. So um, instead of sitting around and dealing with that or having to deal with that, we just said, man, this is who we got, you know. Um, and they said, well, we got this, you know, Sawyer DP guy. He's going to move up to 205. And I'm like, well, man, I mean, I'll do it if, if he'll do it. And uh, they're like, well, we're checking with him. I'm like, okay. So then they checked with him. I was like, he'd be pretty ballsy to take it. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I was just going to say, he took the words yeah. right out of my mouth. The guy's got guts, man. And, uh, I mean, he, he just fought at 175. You know, he did it, like you said, a great job against Yuli. Knocked Yuli down. He rocked Yuli. Uh, obviously, Yuli well, came back to win that fight. They fought at 185. Oh, was it 185? I thought yeah, it was 75. 185, but okay. he missed so the up his last two fights or something. Okay. So they told him he's got to move up to 205. And, uh, you know, I was like, you know, pretty, not saying like like he's a chump or something like that, but it's the fact that, you know, it's the first time you fought at 205 and, you know, you're fighting me. So, um, you know, there was a little bit of, you know, do you just want to sit around and wait or, you know, but I don't, I don't think, I think if I would have waited any longer, I wouldn't have come back. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that, you know, too, because I, I feel, you know, I feel for, for me as a fan watching, I feel frustrated for you, uh, you know, and, and not saying that, you know, you're frustrated or not, but I feel it because, you know, I've, we've seen you perform, you, you've done well, obviously a fan favorite, uh, you know, and we've seen people get title shots that, don't have the record you have, but don't have the time put in that you put in. So, you know, it gets me a little frustrated, you know, when I see other people getting shots or, or even in the conversation of getting a title shot and Quentin Henry's name is not coming up. And clearly you should be in that 195, 205 picture, you know, for a title 185 too, you know, if that's, a, if that's the case too. So like when you behind the scenes, like when you guys were talking about potentially you and Lorenzo fighting, I mean, was that ever a potential like that fight was actually going to happen? Were you guys good talking about that? Was there any conversation at all about you fighting for a title? Yeah, when, um, like I said, I'd spoken with Dave and he was at one time, I believe he was trying to set up a fight with me and Hector. Um, and then I guess the winner of that would fight Lorenzo for the 
Gazette belt or whatever, you know, whatever 205 belt he has. I, I'm not sure. He didn't say that specifically, but that's who they were trying to get me matched up with and win. And uh, like I said, that, that kind of fell through. But then, uh, you know, I won. Let me see. So then, yeah, then we were trying to figure out who I was fighting. And then after Lorenzo's last fight, he kind of called me out. I think he called out Gustavo too. And I was like, all right, well, cool. And so I immediately got my phone and started texting Dave. I'm like, all right, so Lorenzo's my next fight. And he was like, yeah, we'll see. That's what we're working on. So, um, but I'm assuming they, uh, and I don't even know what they're thinking, like yeah. with Lorenzo at this point, because obviously he's got the 185 title, uh, the 205 title. I think that's up for grabs. I don't think Hector's coming back, at least from what I'm hearing. Uh, and you know, I don't want to say that's a fact or not, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, but you know, Lorenzo, where are they going to go with him next? Is it going to be Gustavo? But you know, but Gustavo, I haven't seen him fight at 185, and, and that's the belt he has. So you know, there's a lot of questions in between 185 and 205. Uh, Right. You know, I, yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I know that Gustavo wants to fight him and they seem to be pushing that fight kind of. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if that happened before I got to fight for the belt and maybe I had to fight the winner. Or I don't know. You know, really, there's no telling. Um, it honestly, almost, fit, Quentin, it almost feels day, like <laughs> I do know that I do know that I'm fighting Sawyer DP on Saturday. And, uh, you know, that's my number one concern. You know, the rest of this doesn't matter. If, if I don't get through that for that next one, um, you know, so I think, uh, you know, step one, that next step is, is Saturday. Uh, we put in a really good camp. Uh, that's where we're headed back from Colorado right now. We've been, uh, driving up to elevation, you know, as high as we can get and mountain climbing and carrying our mitts and our workout gear and, and working out in the high altitude and, uh, you know, like all day every day we've been doing something so um you know we're on our way back now uh had some good quality training just you know training you can't get anywhere else in the world you know we're i think we spent one day up on top of pike's peak which is like fourteen thousand five hundred feet and uh you know trees don't grow up there damn the air's too thin so it's like when you step out the car in the parking lot you're dizzy because the oxygen's so low Bro, that's like some Rocky Four shit you're doing right there. All right. Yeah. So then we go find we we go to these different trails and there's a lot of places around here, you know, that are around nine, ten thousand feet and uh and it's enough to affect you for good. So we we kinda go out explore and we find a cool spot that we like and we set up, we get to work and then we jog back. Uh, you know, it usually ends up taking most of the day. Uh we get try to get more than a workout in, but yeah. You know, so this one, this one came together pretty good. So this is a statement fight for you, I feel, because you know, obviously, you, you know, you're in a very good position, you know, within the promotion. Um, but when I say statement fight, I say it because this is like, hey, listen, I'm gonna take this fight because you're not really giving me the fight that I want or I feel that I deserve. So I'm saying, and I'm not taking anything away uh, uh, from Sawyer. You know, much respect to him. I would say this, you know, generally speaking, only because of the position that you're in. But I think this is a statement fight for you to say, hey, listen, you know, this, I'm taking this fight. He's moving up to 205 for the first time. I'm going to make a statement. But my next fight, it better be for a title because, you know, why Why else am I going to be hanging around? Do you feel that's the, the case coming up, you know, coming up this weekend? Uh, yeah, you know, and it, yeah, absolutely. It's no disrespect to Sawyer. I mean, he could definitely be one of the top 205 guys one day, but he hasn't, you know, proven himself at 205 yet. So he might be a monster, you know, and we'll see. It might, uh, maybe not cut in the way to help him out. Who knows? Uh, but if I'm not really upset by it as much as, you know, I would be pissed if I was the people behind him that he got to skip the line and fight me. <laughs> when I'm supposed to be, you know, because, you know, that just scoots him straight to the front of the bunch. Um, you know, so, but I don't, I don't know exactly how all that's working out. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, it'll be a good, a good fight. I'm excited about it. He's definitely a skilled fighter and, uh, you can tell that he's getting better each time he fights. So, um, you know, I expect to see something a little bit different than before. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're the same fighter 
eight months ago as you were today. Uh, it, it's not going to be much different at your core. You're the same. So um, I think uh, I think the flip side of that is I'm a different I'm a different animal than he's ever seen, and I'm more of an animal than y'all have ever seen. And uh, you know, I, there's not enough film out there of me doing the things that I'm capable of to study it. Uh, you know, so I've just never had to unload the whole toolbox. You know, I usually drop them with the first or second, you know, the technique or decide, you know, decision we're going to go with. Um, it doesn't have to go further than that. It doesn't mean that it can't. You know, so um, I think I think he is a good fighter, has potential to be a good fighter. But I think at the end of the day, he's not he's not on my level. He hasn't been doing this long enough. There hasn't been he hasn't had enough fights. And um, you know, when I go out there to fight people like that or just people in general, I kind of I kind of have a, a chip on my shoulder that they even think that this dude can beat me. <laughs> and uh, you know, I don't know what the odds are, or whatever. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are saying, you know, that uh, you know, oh, they're just throwing somebody to him. He's a smaller guy, which I don't think he's gonna be a smaller guy. He looked a lot bigger than Yuli when they fought. Uh, he's a big you boy. Know? Yeah. Right. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, uh, I can't go out there and just win with this guy because it's a, I'm in a lose-lose situation. The only way I come away from this looking better is I go out there and destroy this guy. And that's what my plan is. You know, nothing personal, but uh, it's a job and that's what the, uh, the atmosphere of this situation calls for. So, um, you know, that's all we've got in mind. Yeah, and you know, you still hold one of my favorite knockouts in bare knuckle. Period. That that first fight you had, man. I, I still For talk sure. about that. I still watch that knockout mouthpiece coming out. I mean, beautiful, beautiful executed uh, punch. So, you know, obviously you have that power. We've seen you display the power many times after that as well. Uh, so. You know, for, for the naysayers and people saying, you know, you're not the favorite or this or that, they just don't know what they're talking about, plain and simple. It's a fight. It, you're a professional. You're going against a professional. Yes, anything can happen in there. But obviously, you've also showed the skills that you have in order to be successful in the sport. And you have been successful. And you've fought some of the best, like Chris Levin. So you're, you've been in there, man. You've been in the trenches. But I do, you know, as a fan, I really want to I'm, – I'm definitely excited to see this fight. I think it's going to be an action-packed fight. I think a lot of people are going to be excited to see you back in there. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how Sawyer's going to do with 205 against you. Uh, but the most important thing, I think, is that, you know, if everything goes according to your plan, I would like to see you fight for a title next. I, I don't think any other fight makes sense but you getting your shot. And, and Lorenzo said he would fight you. He already called you out. So I would love to see that fight. And let me tell you something, too, Quentin. I've been, I've been for a long time, and I could probably speak for a lot of people, for a long time I've wanted to see you and Lorenzo go at it. As a, as a fan watching it, I think that you and Lorenzo would make a, a great fight. I think a lot of people would want to watch that. And it's been, it's been building up for too long not to happen. You know what I mean? It's because people have been talking about it for a long time. It's not like, you know, this is a new thing. And, uh, you know, like after he got that first belt, me and him did a podcast together talking about fighting each other on Planet Hank. You know, so it's not like, and that it had been going on for a while since then. Uh, you know, because I had asked to fight him multiple times, or we talk about in interviews of like, who do you want to fight next? I'm like, I want to fight. I'd like to fight Lorenzo. He seems he's the number one guy in the division. That's who I'm going after. Because I didn't see the Hector Lombard curveball coming in there. I didn't see him fighting for the belt against Joe Riggs. I thought it was going to be like, okay, if I can go take out. Lorenzo, then I'll fight Hector for the belt. You know, one of us two will fight Hector for the belt or something like that. Um, you know, but um, so, you know, yeah, it, it needs to happen, you know, one way or another. Uh, I want to fight him for sure. I think uh, that would be nice motivation. I don't think I would have to get fired up to get to get really into that one. That would be a, that would be a really fun camp. Dude, I would be fired up for that. I'll get fired up for you, bro. I would be amped the hell up to see that, man. Um, but you know what? You know, that that, that with that being said, you do have this fight coming up uh, on, on Saturday. You, how do you see this fight going down? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say what's your prediction. You know, it's kind of cliche. But, you know, your, you know, your game plan, your training, you know, you've seen uh, Sawyer DP fight. How do you feel this fight's going to play out for you? 
Man, um, I think uh, it it just comes down to you know the same as every fight. You know, it's hit and don't get hit, and uh, that's a lot of my philosophy. Uh, I can do a damage with one punch that it takes most people three or four. So you know, I don't have to throw a hundred punches at you. I got to not get hit and just land my ones that I need to. So um, you know, being patient being calmed and just, you know, imposing my experience that I've got in there. You know, I've been fighting, you know, amateur and pro for 14 years now. You know, I've been a professional for 11. So, um, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time under those lights doing this and it's nothing new. And uh, that I'm going to go out there and show people again. You know, this is just another opportunity to, to prove, you know, all right, yeah, well, let me get another one. And then keep telling me I can't have it, you know, so, um, you know, we'll see. It's just, it's just another opportunity to make a statement. You're going to make a statement, man. I'm super excited about this fight. Henry DP going down June 11th. You can check it out on the BKFC app, the new app that they made, which I just kind of went through it a little bit, and it looks like they made some uh, nice improvements on that app, which is great. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm super excited to see you in there, man, because – I, I think it's Quentin Henry's time. I think Quentin Henry, you, 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 like I said, you've proved yourself. And I think, it, you know, as a, as a fan of yours, I, I really want to see you successful. And that's no disrespect to any of your opponents. It's just that we've been talking for a while. And, you know, I'm just going to tell you what I'm thinking. But uh, I, I really am, man. You've always been respectful to me. And you've always been a good guy outside the ring uh, and, and a great performer in the ring, man. So I, I just want to wish you nothing but the best of luck. Respect to you. Respect to your opponent. Put on a great show, man. If there's anything else you want to get off your chest right now, go for it, my brother. Oh, man. I want to thank all my family and friends and my training partners. We're running around here. Sponsors. We're playing chess. Um, Dement Brothers Boxing Club. Um, we've got uh, Jubilee Royal. JubileeBTC.com. It's for private equity investments. So you make your money, make you money. So anybody out there listening, hit me up. I'll send you the link. Um, then uh, Armed Forces Roof and Construction. What what veteran combat owned or combat veteran owned and operated? Um, and then Traxler Chiropractic. That is, uh, oh, Dr. Traxler. Everybody knows Dr. Traxler. He's always hooking me up. And uh, Brad Bell, American National Insurance. Yeah, I got to throw that one out there too. Yeah. Man, Absolutely. I hit all of them, and I didn't even have a list. Yeah. Bro, I think I think later on, after your fight career, you may have to get into commentary, bro, because if that's off the cuff, man, imagine what you could do when you're reading a script. Oh, dude, totally off the cuff. Just think if, yeah, I would totally do that. So if there's anybody out there needing somebody, and they'll pay me more to do that than to get punched in the face, then I'll probably just going to do it for you. And, and, and see, and my man probably look good in a suit, too, so I think you got to sign my guy, Quentin oh, Henry. You know it. <laughs> My brother, thank you so much, man. Drive safe, safe travels, and I I'd love to catch up with you after the fight, too. Absolutely. Appreciate it, brother. Anytime, my man. Be good. Peace, brother. Quentin Henry, my guy. Listen, this is a big fight coming up, and I got to tell you, uh, honestly, really looking forward to this fight. Uh, I'm just always looking forward to seeing Quentin in there. And, and I got to tell you, Sawyer as well. Sawyer, I mean, he, he put on a great show. He didn't get the win against Yuli, but... That last fight, I mean, it showed a little, you know, first of all, Sawyer came off the couch, basically. He was only, I think he was like a week or two out uh, before that opponent changed. So, Sawyer, you know, he's a tough dude. And I talked to Yuli after two, after that fight. Yuli was like, yeah, he's, Sawyer's a tough guy, man. And he gave him a lot of credit, too. So, uh, you know, Sawyer's got a camp now, you know. And we're going to see how he does at the, at the higher weight. But he's got a very tough opponent with Quentin Henry. So, a lot of questions going on, you know. So, I'm very curious to see, watch this fight, you know, and see how it goes down. But, yeah, I think it's time. You know, I've seen some of the fans in the chat. I think it's time for Quentin, you know, obviously if things go goes his way, uh, for him to be next in line for a title shot. So uh, we're, we're going to see what they do. I just feel like sometimes when I'm I'm watching, uh, you know, BKFC, I, I, I'm a little mind boggled sometimes with the with the decisions on, on who's getting a title shot and all this stuff. Like, respect to Mike Perry. I mean, I, I love Mike Perry. You know, I like watching the guy fight. I'm a fan of his, but... But it was sort of saying Mike Perry's gonna get a title shot. You know, you, you think dollar signs right away, I get it, but you know, us fans, we're watching Bare Knuckle for a while and we're watching the promotion build and watching the divisions build. You wanna see those guys 
that have been fighting the division get those shots. You know, dedicated guys. Like, so I'm glad to see that it's unfortunate that Tiago's not in the middleweight division anymore. He's not with the promotion anymore. But I am happy to see that, you know, Ricky is getting his shot. You know, uh, Yuli already had a shot. He's getting another shot. That's great. Uh, but, you know, it was it was finally nice to see Francesco Ricky uh, in now, you know, getting that interim. Well, I don't want to call it interim. Uh, Tiago's gone, but he's getting that title shot. So should be interesting. All together, all around. That June 24th card, I think, is going to be sick. And then uh, BYB has got another card coming up, too. So a lot of cool stuff in Bare Knuckle going on. Uh, I got to hit the gym. So I'm all, I'm, I'm all out of shit to say right now because I got to go to the gym. And then I got to eat dinner. It's already 8 o'clock Eastern. And that's a wrap for me, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if there's any guests that you want to see, come on. Hit me up. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to discuss and talk about. Let me know. Hit me up. Uh, I'm, I'm at a point where I don't really give a shit. I'm talking about anything at this point. I just want to just bullshit and have some fun and, and help help these great warriors uh, promote their fights and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, tuning in. It's only Monday. So I hope, you, I hope you guys get a good start to the week. I hope it's a quick one for you. I'm going to do another show Wednesday night. I got Jimmy Rivera coming on. And I got uh, oh my man Brad Kelly's coming on. So. I think that's going to be uh, a firework show, too. And then uh, I did speak to a couple other fighters, too, uh, that I'm trying to uh, work on getting on as well. Uh, Laurent T. Nelson, he's going to be on deck. Uh, Howard Davis is on deck. Uh, Rookie Randall's on deck. Uh, we got to get back with my man, the Yoga King, uh, my man, Marcus Brimage. We got to get him back on because we had some uh, technology issues the last time. Uh, a couple other uh, names coming up, too. Shannon Briggs, uh, he's going to be coming on. Uh, and then I got a new podcast that's going to be coming out. I can't say too much yet. We're still in the, uh, you know, we're having a lot of meetings about it and stuff, but it's going to be uh, something different, something very different that I've done before. Uh, a lot more fun, a lot more laid back, uh, but it's going to be basically celebrities, athletes, influencers, fighters from all combat sports uh, participating on this particular show that we're going to be doing. So stay tuned. I got more stuff coming. Very different. Going to be a lot of fun. Check out my OnlyFans. Now I'm just kidding. I'll get OnlyFans. All right, guys. Have a great night. Peace.